hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today so today we want to learn how to create legends in revit architecture so for some people who do window and door schedule the default schedule in revit does not really satisfy them so there is a better way or another way of creating legend or window schedules using legend but legend is more broad it's for your components and to create a legend of your components and part of your building so let's go straight to it for example you're going to start with door legend and window legend so to do that let's scroll down on our project browser okay so we see legend bar right click new legend uh, let's start with door legend sorry door legend Okay, so as you can see, we have a blank screen here. So first of all, you just start with, you can sketch out whatever, whatever kind of legend you want to do. So let me just start with a simple legend, a door legend. So I will go to annotate line. So I prefer using a wide line. Okay, zoom out a little bit. Okay. Yes. Okay. So depending on whatever how you want to create your let's say okay this um this okay You can also use text here. Yeah. Let's start with here. Say um, whatever you want to call it. The number. So preset. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so the next item I can see before is in plan view. Okay. You can edit the text to whatever you want. Then elevation view okay so here let's see the one okay save this okay Okay, basically almost the same way you do it in AutoCAD for your drawings. But well, the beauty about this, you see that now. I can come here and put my title text as a. Uh, yeah, I can call this doors. Okay, so let's go straight to uh, how to load our doors. So I want to show the plan view of my door, the elevation view of my door also. So the best way to do it, you go to your floor plan, locate where the kind of doors you used for your floor plan. Okay, I just have two types of doors here. So take note of the name of your door. I have this as my exterior thread. I can call this. Uh, let's rename that room room door. Okay, then this I rename that toilet door so that I can be able to be to recognize it and locate it on my legend. Okay, <clears throat> so go to my door legend. So for you to load your legend, go to components, annotate components, scroll down, you see 
legend component. So if you scroll down to where your doors are and look for room door. Okay, you found it room door. So I click on room door. As you can see floor plan. Post uh, let me make it one thousand eight hundred mm or uh, yeah, let's make it two thousand mm. Okay. As you can see it's two if I expand this so basically whatever you can do on the floor plan you can do here let's go to our visibility graphics and we check the thickness of the floor of the wall so at seven okay as you can see it has changed and we can also dimension the door okay right <clears throat> So the basic idea for you to get the elevation view of the floor plan is just to copy it and select it. When you come here, change it to front. That's all. So it's best to dimension it. Okay. So for you to get other types of doors, select the one you have already created. You can also select this. So select this. With the dimensions, take note, take, select it with the dimensions. I just have two types of doors. So, we'll stop at door two. So, you don't really need to start looking for this, start arranging this door, the dimensions. That's the advantage of copying with the dimension. Just go to where you have to let the door change it. And that's all. The dimensions have changed. This one was 900, this one was 750. So, this is basically what you can do with your door legend you can also do this for you to get your window and then you can copy the whole thing here except the legend component yeah like and also the dimensions you don't need the dimensions you can copy the table here just copy it you go to legend new you can call it windows window legend okay you just paste it here control v so you see you can change it the table still remains the same change this to window one you go to annotate component let's first of all go and see the type of window we used okay i'm sliding with trim two size window two i'm sliding with trim one and i'm sliding with trim four now four i'm sliding with trim two i'm sliding with trim three okay so just go to window legend component legend component scroll down to your windows i'm sliding with trim okay this is the first window i have it's the plan view if i make the plan view to 400 okay so copy number your visibility, your visibility graphics okay you can also do that for the windows and the doors so <coughs> so the next thing is to copy this out change it to front okay and you dimension it Sorry about that. It's supposed to give me one five. 
has the issue. Mine is in the wrong window. Let's see. Okay. So I get the red end. All right. So for you to get the other ones, let's copy these out. Copy this out. I have four types of windows, so so all you need to do is just to change now we're sliding the tree. Three. Four. Change this. So you see, you can add other parameters, description, manufacturer, whatever you want to add to the table. It's your call. So you can do this for all companies, you can do this for furniture, you can do this for specialty components, or whatever, basically whatever that has that is a component. They want to create a legend for it. So basically, the main thing you can use it for is your doors and your windows legend. This gives a more detailed view of how your plan and elevation dimension your window and door schedule will look like. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.